all right guys we're gonna do a little something different today with this video it's just gonna be a discussion video because in all my videos that i have on the channel with emulation and the different gaming handhelds i thought i might you know have a video so that way you guys can comment more on that at least in this video not saying that you can't comment in the other videos but i just want to have a video specifically talking about the gaming handhelds and where they're going and different things like that so basically it's gonna be my opinions in it but I'm gonna try to keep it you know professional with it try to keep it you know courtesy and then if y'all have any opinions always write down in the comment section how y'all feel about the gaming and health market and things like that so I'm just gonna talk to you guys today it's not gonna be a gaming video you know stuff like that but something different maybe you might like it might not I'm, I'm trying to stop putting opinions on stuff same with putting opinions on games like cyberpunk and persona and stuff like that i might have my opinions on this stuff and you know put in video format and see what y'all like see what y'all think so today let's talk about video gaming handheld in general gaming handhelds has been coming a long way since the last couple of years thanks to companies like ambernet i and neo and things like that and um yeah, I, I, I can appreciate them for always trying to put forth an effort towards advancement of technology. As you guys know, I do test out gaming handhelds and stuff on the channel. And you have seen the Steam Deck, which we are recording on right now. The Aminate Win 600, which was a decent device, but not decent for the price. And of course, I have the RG552 or 552, better to say, and the Absolute, you know, from China that just came in extremely handheld. Also, got tablets and other stuff like that, PS5s, Xbox, and different but that's besides the points. But um, the other gaming handheld market, it, it seems like it's just too many gaming handhelds, you know, coming out one after another. Like, we get one gaming handheld, next week is a whole new gaming handheld. Like, we're not having the time to spend and enjoy with the gaming handheld that y'all put out already and we're not getting the time and, and the money to be just spending on different handhelds. Most people like myself in America don't make a lot of money. We make enough to take care of responsibilities and do what we got to do and you know from there you know if we can splurge a little we're gonna splurge but the constant you know making handhelds which is great because they competing against each other and that's that's perfect there's no issues about that but they got to start slowing it back down with the market and actually perfecting their handhelds more than we'll just keep throwing our handhelds. I mean, we got so many different companies. I have a few pulled up right now from Pow Kitty with them coming out, with, especially like now they're coming out with this RGB30 with the rock chip. And this is the same rock chip that's in my um, RG552 or 552, uh, you know, handheld. Then you got other stuff that they have, the RGB Max which is supposed to be you know a pretty decent system then you got your other the old systems like this stuff uh for the tv this one i mean it just got so many handhelds it's just too many to pick and choose which one do you want and it's just you know pow kitty you also got retro retro got the 2s that's coming that, that came out uh the, the retro pocket 3 which is one of people's favorites right here you know um you got the flip version you got you know the original three then you got ambernick with their stuff and then they got a sale going on right now with that all their handhelds you know let's look at them in the list you got your nano that was which this is a smart idea i'm not gonna say it's not but for the price it's a little too high you know they got the sale going on for 48 dollars you still paying shipping and stuff so that's a little too high for a little bit of handheld that can fit it barely this fit really in your palms but then you got the 35 ps which is it's not a bad device. The 405, which is not a, is really a good device. The 35 XS is a good device, but and then you got the 505 and a couple other things. You got the this one that everybody like the VS because it got Android and Linux. The Win 600, which you guys seen on my channel uh, that I have that's sitting back now because it's destroyed. Um, the 552 that I also have, but the price is too high for something like this when. It should be like $120 or $150 at most. This thing is like $200 or some dollars. When I bought it, it was $200 or something. Dollars. Then you got a lot of the trash ones. Let's just say they, they, they are trash. I like the Aminate company, but there, there's some trash Aminate devices. Just like some trash Power Kitty devices. There's some trash Retro devices. I mean, all of them have trash devices at the end of the day. 
Then you got Aya Neo, and Aya Neo makes really good devices for the most part, which, as you can see, that's the new devices coming out. Uh, the Coon coming out, which I would love to have one, but I can't afford it. The One S coming out, I can't afford it. The 2S, I can't afford it. These game handhelds are really nice, and I understand they put a lot of power and time into them, so I understand that their prices are high, but a lot of people can't afford it. Y'all should at least have some kind of payment plan for people to be able to, you know, buy the stuff. You know, hey, let me buy it like this, and you know, then put it on payment plan. You can at least afford to get one, and then boom, you know. And then they can always hold your card, like PayPal or anywhere else. That hey, you put your card information, they gonna charge your card regardless, like how Apple Pay does. Apple Pay take their money regardless, so they can do the same thing if they fear that people not gonna pay for their device and steal it. You know, and that, if that's the case, but. See how many handhelds they got. Yeah, you got people that have these handhelds, like the 2021 versions and then the newer versions that came out. But every most people can't afford it. Same with the ROG Ally. The ROG Ally, now the only difference with this one, you probably can do a payment plan on this one because it's in Best Buy. You can just go to Best Buy and get one or either buy it through their payment plan. Uh, and then at least they offer three months of Game Pass for free and things like that. So, I mean, I, I like this one. But, like I said, there's stronger systems that's stronger than this system itself. Like the I Neo, um, the new ones that's coming out, not this one. This one's going to be pretty nice for Android. Uh, that one's an Android. This device here, the Coon. The Coon will be a really nice device to have, but, you know, can't afford it. Uh, so, you know handhelds as a whole they need to slow it down a little bit with this stuff especially like i said the market is nice i'm glad they are getting a lot of advancements like the uh analog sticks are now having hall effect on them and things like that to keep from stick drift like the switch does uh the screens are starting to get better and brighter and more pixels and colors and uh pigments and stuff like that uh you know, the analogs and the controls are starting to get better, switched uh, dome style controls and things like that. I mean, you, they, they're getting better. I mean, as, like I said, the absolute device has a nice, and the streaming devices are pretty decent. You know, they I have one of these that you see on the channel as well. Um, and you can see how well this device been holding up. So, I mean, it's pretty nice. Stream all your games and things like that. You know, but certain things about this, like, like I said, like the analog in the back part where I can have a little more grip would be a little bit nicer but it's still comfortable all in all and you can see that other people are enjoying the gaming spirit you know things like that but slow it down a little guys gosh i mean it just it's, it's so many devices so many choices it's overwhelming you don't know what to pick now i will say that i do have recommendations for certain you know age groups but at the same time it's still it's a lot to choose from so, like, let's just say you got a kid, your kid's from age 0 or 1 through 10 or 12, somewhere in there. You can give them something like a retro pot or a power kit or something like that because, you know, give them something that, it can be cheap, they can play through, they have a little bit of games. They might have 500 games in one, stuff like that. Good for a kid, you know, because it's not a real expensive device. As you can see, you can get a lot of cheap devices, $39 for this one. Uh, if 174 that one. 39 for that, 75, 80, so you can get them something like that. Teenagers like 13, uh, 12, 13, 14, they starting to get up a little bit of age. If you're going to go with power kit, at least get their better power kitted device. Don't go for the cheap, like get at least like the uh, RGB 10 Max. It at least plays up to PS2, I think, if I'm not mistaken from watching uh, ETA or Retro Game Core. I think it does go up to that. Um... Or you can hand, give them this was when this come out, whenever this come out, because I know this is the new system that's coming out. Um, but if not, give them something like the Retro Pocket 3 Plus. I mean, you can get them that for 150. It plays a lot of games. It's really sturdy. It's pretty powerful, and the battery, you know, lasts a while. Um, you can get them Ambernet devices. You can get them, you know, small device like this. But I don't think they would like that. But you can get them the 405. 4 or 5 or get it for yourself. 4 or 5 is pretty nice. 350PS is pretty nice. Uh, this is a really de decent device for a vertical handheld. Um, this and the Miu Mini. And then it was, as an adult, you know, you want something with windows and stuff. Don't get it twisted. For $2.99, if this price was here at the beginning like it's supposed to, 
thing I could recommend the Win 600, you know, the 299 price is the, the 3020E, not the 3050E. Um, so really, I would say I wish they would drop this down 50 bucks more, and then I say, hey, go ahead and get the 3020E. Is I mean, it's 8 percent less in power, or 10 percent less in power, but it's a window handheld. And if you want to run old games like 2012 and 2013 games, yeah, you can run them on it. But just talking about just to play newer games, AAA games, don't get it. It's not. I mean, it's nice. It does okay. I liked mine for what it was, but it, like I said, with them not having uh, a high community base on the system and stuff like that, which it, it does now have a better base than when I had bought it last year, but the community doesn't really mess us with this device in general and so you don't have a lot of community support so people that like take the battery and all that stuff out before you change your ssd yeah they say that but then they don't show you how to do it versus you know the steam deck you can actually you got a community that shows videos on videos on videos of how you actually change this out how you do that they have an actual big community and the steam deck is really worth it for the price that this is it's the same price as the steam deck get the steam deck uh, the base model, you can always upgrade the SSD later. You can always change it from window to Windows. You can do a boot it. You can do a lot of things. If you have a little bit more money, then go for the Ioneo stuff because their products are really well made. They had not too many issues on Ioneo. Most people love Ioneo. That's why their prices are high on it. But, you know, it's, it's, you get what you pay for, basically. If you can't get the Ioneo, but you have enough money to get the Rock Ally, get the Rock Ally. It's, it's, it's better than the Steam Deck. Uh, don't get it wrong. The Steam Deck is nice. I like the Steam Deck, but if you can get something better than the Steam Deck, because these actually have Windows support, get those, because you can actually play everything on Windows that you can't on Steam OS. And that's the biggest drawback. But the Steam, Steam Deck, if you want to play Steam games, get Steam Deck. It's cheaper. It's easy to use. But if you like Windows like myself, get the Rock Ally, get an Ioneo device. You know, they got a new one that's coming out with the Pocket S, which is, even though it's Android, it's supposed to be a stronger Android, especially if you're just doing emulation like myself. This will be a perfect fit if it's at the perfect price. So, I'm going to keep my eyes out on that one if it's at a decent price. Um, if you just really want to stream your games and you don't really want to buy any high advice, get a uh, Absolute device or get the Logitech G Cloud. I mean, the Logitech G Cloud has more power. But you're paying a hundred dollars more than Absolute, so that's why I recommend Absolute. Absolute didn't give me no issues. Yes, it can't play all the emulation like the G Cloud could probably play, but you can always stream your emulation from your PC. Boom, you have it, and you get to go. Um, and then it still can play some games on its own without even having to, you know, do that. And I showed that in videos as well. So, but that's my opinion on the, the handheld market, uh, gaming market. If there's anything that catches your eye or any questions that you have, always feel free to write it down in the comment section below. And um, yeah, like I said, we, we as a community love the advancement of stuff, but everybody can't afford it. And I wish there was better ways for people to get their hands on things. Even, you know, because once you get to this point of paying seven, eight hundred dollars for a device, that's an investment. That's not no longer just the entertainment. That's an investment. I can see if I get something like, uh, something like, let's just say, something like this. Thirty nine dollars. That's not an investment. That's just something quick, easy to play. Boom, you got the way. Retro Pocket, yeah, it's one hundred and fifty dollars. It's starting to become an investment. It's not an investment completely, but it is becoming an investment. And the time consuming. You start getting into absolute that's two hundred dollars that's starting to become a little an investment you start getting to the steam deck and stuff and win six hundred that's an investment you get the rock ally you definitely paying you paying money so that's 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 you want that device to be perfect runs well easy to use even if you got to install stuff yourself you're gonna want to be able to you know get through and use what you got to do and you don't have to you know stress about it so but anyway, I rambled on long enough. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, let me know how you feel about the gaming handheld so far and how the market is and things like that. And, you know, let's have a discussion down in the comment section below. But as always, guys, I hope you guys have a beautiful and wonderful day. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.